welcome to Sunday School Class. I'm Miss Pam, here with Leonard Pith Garnell. Hi everybody, you delicious friends. Delicious friends? Oh, I meant to say bubblicious friends. Well, anyway, we're here to share another cool story from the Bible with you, right? Right. What do I do when I need to remember something? I write it down. The people of Judah had, again, forgotten God's word. But God told Jeremiah, his prophet, to write on a scroll all the words God had spoken about Israel, Judah, and all the nations. God was patient. He gave the people a chance to hear a warning and to turn from their sins and be forgiven. Hey, I know a Jeremiah. Do you? Yeah, Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Oh, yeah? Yeah, was a good friend of mine. That's good. I never understood a single word he said, but I has okay, okay, okay. I think we got it. I was just a joke. <laughs> All right. Well, we will learn in our lesson today that God's word and scrolls can never be destroyed. People over the years have tried to get rid of God's word, but they will never succeed. Never. That's good. We'll see how our story turns out. Shaker egg time. You ready to sing? You betcha, toots. All right, here we go. It's time to worship God. It is time to worship God. It's time to put our toys away. It is time to worship God. Well, that was a very active song today with Leonard. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the day that you've given us and for the beautiful sunshine and for each boy and girl that's joined me today. We love you and thank you for our story about Jeremiah the prophet. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It's important for us to read or listen to our Bibles every day. So let's review our memory verses from the Bible, which used to be from the scroll. Okay. Psalms 100. On your feet now. Applaud God. Woo! Bring a gift of laughter. <laughs> Sing yourselves into his presence. Know this, that the Lord himself he is God. He made us. We didn't make him. Good. That's like three verses of Psalms 100, so you're doing a great job. The next one is John 3.16. That's from the New Testament. Psalms 100 is from the Old Testament. You're doing great. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son that whosoever believes in him shall not perish, shall not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3, 16. Huh. Do you remember what perish means? To die. You won't die. Yeah, believe in Jesus. We have a music video we want to share with you today. It's a new one. I hope you enjoy it. So watch carefully. You guys stomp your feet like that? Now let's clap together. That's it. Keep it going. Let's sing this little light of mine. This little light of mine. Sounds so good. That's called clapping on the back beat. All right, sing this real quiet with me now. 
Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Yes, even when I'm afraid, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Now the people of Judah had forgotten God's word. It had only been a little while the law they had heard. Jehoiakim was now king. His dad Josiah died. He did lots of bad things. He liked his pride. Jeremiah, God's prophet, told the people to love God, but the people were not obeying God at all. Scott still loved the people, but he wanted them to stop doing what was wrong or they'd go kerplop. Yeah. He told Jeremiah to write down these words. Jeremiah called Baruch and told him what he'd heard. He spoke the messages from God out loud. Baruch wrote the words on a scroll all down. Take the scroll to the temple and read it to them all, Jeremiah told the Baruch, so people wouldn't fall away from God. Yeah. The temple was the place God's people were to pray and learn about God in a worshipful way. But they chose to do evil and enjoyed their sin. That's a reason for the words to bring them back again. Yeah. Baruch took the scroll to God's temple and he read in a clear, loud voice with the tear he shed. Some people went to King Jehoiakim and told him of the scroll. The words were grim. The king told his helpers, bring the scroll to me. Read it, I'll listen while I have some tea. The king became angry at the words God said, so he grabbed a knife and cut it all to shreds. He burned each piece in a fire in the room, and he thought he had gotten rid of God's word of gloom. <laughs> God told Jeremiah, write the scroll again. So he called Baruch, obeyed God again. They wrote another scroll, just like the first one they had made. Baruch read the scroll to the people, not afraid. But the king and the people did not listen, did not care. They kept doing what was wrong. They didn't have a prayer. So the sad things God said would happen, did happen. The king was taken prisoner and died without having an heir to the throne. And that was that the I have an activity to show you. It's called Circle of Words. Our story was about Jeremiah having his helper Baruch write down words God was telling him to say to his people. Let's do an activity using lots of words. But if you can't write words yet, you can still look at the different letters I'll use and try to sound out a word that goes with the next letter. I'll show you. Here's how it goes. I'm going to draw a circle around this bowl and then I'm going to write down a word and whatever letter that the word ends with, I have to start another word with that letter. We'll go all around the circle to see how many words we can make. Only one rule. You must go all around the circle without using any word twice. Sounds fun. Let's try it. Let's make our circle around the bowl. And let's do a word at the top, T-O-P. Then we have to make a word with P, P, P. Let's do pat, ah, pat, we can pat, T, T, T. -t. Let's do tear, oh, remember King Jehoiakim, he tore up the words of the scroll, er, 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 rat. I hope you don't have any rats in your house. I hope I don't have any in mine. T, 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 tar. 
tar. We put tar on the roads, but don't you step in it. R, 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 ray. Oh, I see a ray of sunshine outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I love you. I love God. Uh, uh, uh. Up, up in the sky. Let's do one more. P, p, p. Oh, I know what we're going to do. Pam is Pam. Circle of words. Try it. Hey, do you want to hear a funny story about words? Sure. Okay, listen up. There were two brothers, Pete and Repeat. Pete and Repeat went down the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. Of course I will. There were two brothers, Pete and Repeat. Pete and Repeat went down the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. Sure. There were two brothers, Pete and Repeat. Pete and Repeat went down the river in a boat. Pete fell out. Who was left? Repeat. You betcha! Okay, that, that's a good story. I do like that story. All right, thanks a lot. Okay, wait, I have something else for you to try. It's with words again. I want you to say good blood, bad blood three times. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Good blood, bad blood. Okay, that was pretty good. You didn't say it very fast, but that's okay. Now I, I want you to say, I see, I see, icicles. This time, three times fast. Okay. I see, I see, icicles. I see, I see, icicles. I see, I see, icicles. I see. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. All right, one more. Fast, three times, pre-shrunk shirts. Pre-shrunk shirts. Well, I think I can do that. Pre-shrunk shirts, pre-shrunk shirts, pre-shrunk shirts. <laughs> okay, I get it. Words can be lots of fun. Pre-shrunk shirts, pre-shrunk shirts, pre-shrunk shirts, pre-shrunk shirts. Oh, okay, that's good, yeah. <laughs> I have craft to show you. We're gonna make treasure boxes. Remember, God's word is like a sweet treasure to us. Treasure boxes. These treasure boxes are made out of cards, Christmas cards, birthday cards, any kind of greeting cards. I'm gonna show you how to do those, but look, here's some that are already made up. And I'll open some of them for you. Let's see what you can put inside. Oh, you can put in all kinds of treasures, like an Oscar Mayer weenie whistle. Oscar Mayer weenie whistles in this treasure box. What's in this treasure box? Oh, jewels, look at that. Look at that. Treasures in treasure boxes. What else can we put in a treasure box? Let's see, open this one up. Oh, candy, oh, candy in a treasure box. I'm gonna show you how to make these and you can make some at home. Have your mom and dad help you. Oh, that's a beautiful rock. This one, do you remember? We see, saw that rock one other time. Rock, oh, let's see. What's in this one? Is there anything in here? Oh, a piece of a puzzle. What a treasure. And one last one. You know what? Leonard told me that he gave me a treasure box he wanted to show, one of his treasure boxes. So maybe it's this one, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. I think that's Leonard's treasure, piece of lettuce. All right, here's how you make the treasure boxes. We'll start with this. You start with your greeting card. You're gonna just tear it in half because you have to have a top and a bottom. What you do on the inside, you're gonna take a ruler, go from one corner to the next, and you're just gonna make a little line in the middle, just a little one. You're gonna do the same from corner to corner. Just make a little line, and then you're gonna fold. And I always say we have hot dog side of the paper and we have hamburger side. The hot dog is the longer side. We're gonna fold it. You go to the middle of the line where we made that X. And you're gonna fold that up and then you're gonna do the same.
hamburger side, our hot dog side, sorry about that. You're gonna go up to the X where we connected the lines, open it up, bring out the hamburger side, go up to the center part of that X, make a fold, do the same thing over here. So you folded it four times. Ugh. Okay, now you're gonna take scissors and where you cut on the hot dog side and where you come up and meet, well, it's kind of hard to see, meet the two folds, you're gonna cut. Boy, this one's hard to see. And you're gonna do it on the other side. Oh, golly, I can't hardly see it. And then let's see. Boy, this one is so pretty. This card is so beautiful. All right, and then I take an eraser just so that you don't have any pencil marks inside. I erase that. We're bringing these sides together and fold it over like that. You can also use tape to tape those together. Fold it over, look at that. And you have, oh, I love the brilliant colors of your spirit, look at that. Let's do the same thing over here. Okay, I'll show you again. We're gonna go corner to corner, make a little line corner to corner, another little line, and then you're gonna start folding. Hot dog side, go to the middle line where the lines connect, and do the same thing over here, hot dog side. Find that point that's where the, the lines connect, and then do hamburger side. Go up to the middle of that X, fold, to the middle of the X on this side, and fold. Now you're gonna cut, this one's a little bit easier to see. You're gonna cut this line till you get to this fold and cut a line here till you get to that fold. Do the same thing over here. This is gonna be the bottom of our box. Bring these sides in, this over, fold it, bring these together, this side, fold it. Now we have the bottom part of our box. Look at this. Just kind of squeeze them together a little bit. And you have the treasure box. I wonder what I'll put in here. I don't think I'll put lettuce. Treasure boxes. Try one. We learned in our lesson today that God's word can never be destroyed. God's word is a treasure, like our treasure boxes. God's words are very important, but King Jehoiakim didn't treat them that way. He died because he wouldn't listen to God's words. Read your Bible every day or ask mom or dad to read it to you. The stories are fabulous. God loves us so much. So until next time, this is Miss Pam saying, I think you are amazing. Bye-bye.